Hey everyone, I'm Black Lightning. This is my list of amazing exoplanets. Exoplanets, if you don't know, are planets that orbit a star other than the sun, in their own unique planetary system or roaming the emptiness of space without a star. I can think of these exoplanets are amazing for many reasons, and they don't necessarily need to have the potential to harbor life to be considered amazing. Once again, this is my subjective list, so let's begin. Number 5 is Gliese 876b. This gas giant is located in the Gliese 876 system and it's in its star's habitable zone. The habitable zone is the imaginary spherical shell surrounding a star where conditions are optimal for liquid water to exist on an Earth-sized planet. Of course, gas giants aren't habitable to us, but gas giants usually carry moons because of their large magnetic fields. There's a possibility that Gliese 876b could have a moon that's habitable to us. Imagine looking up in the sky and seeing a huge gas giant there. Granted, I don't know if Gliese 876b has moons and a planet being a gas giant doesn't necessarily mean it will have moons, but it would be an awesome scenery if it did. Number 4 is Gliese 436b. It's another gas planet, but it's the size of Neptune. It was originally thought to be made of water, but due to its high mass, and small radius causing it to have a high surface gravity, and the fact that it orbits close to its parent star, any water on the planet is thought to be hot ice, or water compressed into a hot solid state due to enormous pressures. Even though I'll probably suffocate trying to breathe on that planet, I still want to see what hot ice looks like. Number 3 is Kepler 70b. It's currently the planet with the shortest orbital period that we've discovered and it orbits its star in 5.76 hours. Kepler-70b was most likely a gas giant, but spiraled inward towards its parent star. It survived its parent star's red giant phase, and now all that's left of it is a solid core. I'd rather spectate this planet than try landing on it. I want to see this planet zip right past my spaceship, and just imagining that seems unreal. Number 2 is Kepler-16b. It's a gas planet that orbits two stars. Even though the planet is inhabitable for us, and we probably couldn't see the two stars in the sky if we were to land on Kepler-16b, it would be awesome to see two stars in the same sky. Kepler-16b's existence make it possible for another kind of planet to orbit two stars. It would seem surreal, but a sight I would like to see. I doubt I would be able to see something like that in my lifetime, but one can hope. Number 1 is Kepler 438b. It is the most Earth-like exoplanet to be found to date. It's slightly bigger than Earth, which makes it highly likely to be a terrestrial planet. It is also located in the habitable zone where the temperature is just right for liquid water to flow. It has a great chance of harboring life. Scientists don't know if this planet have an atmosphere, but if it's cloaked in insulated layers of gas, it could have a temperature around 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. A bit hot for me, so I wouldn't visit for too long, if at all. <laughs> the appealing thing going for Kepler 438b is the possibility of it harboring life. If life is discovered on this planet or any other exoplanets like this, we can finally say with absolute certainty that Earth is not the only planet with life in our universe. And that is what makes this planet amazing. Anyways, I'll be back next month. Thanks for watching and take care.